Let's now discuss another clinical case in which we manage SSRI treatment during pregnancy. Ms. B is a G2P1 with history of generalized anxiety disorder, requesting consultation about management of fluoxetine 20 mg during pregnancy. She is at six weeks gestational age and is concerned about the risks of the medication to the fetus as she has read that SSRIs may cause heart defects and withdrawal symptoms after birth. She asks if she should discontinue entirely, ask the PCP prescribing her medication about switching to sertraline, and or taper during the third trimester. She does plan to breastfeed. She wonders, are SSRIs associated with malformations? Should I switch to sertraline? And should I discontinue my antidepressant in the third trimester to prevent withdrawal in the neonate? Let's now address all those points. SSRIs as a class have not been consistently associated with an elevated risk of congenital malformations above baseline risk. If fluoxetine is already effective for her, there is risk in switching to another SSRI. The new medication may not work as well to maintain her mood stability and put her at risk of a mood episode. When she is asking a question about withdrawal symptoms after birth, it's likely that she's referring to postnatal adaptation syndrome. Postnatal adaptation syndrome occurs in up to 25% of newborns born to women who took SSRIs during pregnancy, compared to about 10% of newborns if their mothers were not taking SSRIs during pregnancy. So it can occur in either case. It is best described as taking a little bit more time to adapt to life outside the womb, sometimes increased irritability and jitteriness. Postnatal adaptation syndrome does not represent withdrawal or a discontinuation syndrome. It is generally self-limited and resolves in a few days on its own. There is not any consistently demonstrated benefit in tapering or discontinuing medication prior to delivery in terms of the risk of postnatal adaptation syndrome. However, there is an increased risk to maternal mood destabilization. If the patient is already on an effective SSRI, don't switch to another medication which may not work as well. There's no specific benefit in doing so. Both fluoxetine and sertraline are considered generally safe in pregnancy and lactation. To wrap up, here are some key points for this section. SSRI use in pregnancy is not considered to increase risk of congenital malformations. If an SSRI is clinically effective for an individual, avoid switching medications during pregnancy, as this may disrupt maternal euthymia and result in unnecessary fetal exposures. Postnatal adaptation syndrome occurs at higher rates in newborns who are SSRI exposed in utero, but discontinuing or tapering prior to birth does not consistently reduce this risk.